How's it going guys? It's Epsilon here and today's video focuses on the best unlockable abilities that you can get within RuneScape 3. The abilities covered in today's video will be broken down into three topics, those that can improve your Slayer, those that can improve PVM and those that will improve mobility. The first set of abilities to focus on then are Slayer abilities and the first ability will be Tusker's Wrath. This is a ability that will allow you to deal 10,000% of your Slayer level as damage to your active Slayer target. Well, what does this mean in terms of the actual numbers? Well, you'll be able to, at level 100 Slayer, for example, uh, do 10,000 damage directly instantaneously to the target that you're actually fighting at the time of this proccing. And that essentially means that... A lot of the Slayer creatures that you're coming up against will be able, at the lower levels, will be just basically one shot by this ability. And as you get up to the higher levels, you can remove nearly half of their hit points to most Slayer creatures above probably 100 Slayer. And that means that you're in instantaneously uh, decreasing your Slayer count. And so over the period of time that this is available, essentially you'll be able to, with a 120 second cooldown and each task lasting about 14 minutes roughly, you'll be able to take out seven different targets really really quickly and that is basically super super quick you won't have to fight them and that's where this ability comes in really good it's super easy to get and a really really good addition the second Slayer ability that you want to be getting, could be categorised as a PVM as well, is Devotion. Now Devotion essentially allows you to have 100% effectiveness of your protection prayer, so that includes protection from melee and also range and magic. So that will mean that during the period at which this is active, you can essentially be removed completely from being able to take damage you only take one damage per single hit that would have been able to damage you and therefore you're going to prolong your hit points and is really really useful in the majority of slayer kind of tasks or essentially any pvm activity that may be bossing where you're having to fight a lot of minions that are going to be hitting you all at once and trying to dps you down how can you actually obtain this? Well, you basically have to either kill General Grador, and it's a random drop, and also you can obtain it from Kriara as well, and so killing either of those is probably your best bet to get it, or alternatively, you can pay 3,500 currency from the Anima Islands to be able to just unlock it straight away. So if you have some currency from there, then you'll want to be actually doing that because it's going to be super quick, or alternatively, killing General Grada or Kriara and Avian Seas and other Bandos followers within God Wars Dungeon 1. One thing that you should note about this ability is that if you then grab an invention perk, if you've already unlocked invention, instead of having a 9.6 dur second duration at which this is active, you'll actually end up having uh, an additional amount uh, dependent on if your enhanced devoted procs. Now, enhanced devoted works in the case of every single hit that you receive will give you the chance at activating devotion, which means you take less damage. This is completely passive. You just whack it on your armor as a perk, and that allows you to have an enhanced devoted level three, a four and a half percent chance per rank on being hit. The protection prayers will work at a hundred percent for three seconds. Now, this also includes the fact that if you kill an enemy uh, it will also extend this duration and with enhanced devoted three with a three times chance of 4.5 percent you'll have a 13.5 percent chance of being able to activate uh, enhanced devotion uh, and that is really really good to be able to increase your longevity of fighting and is an essential pvm perk that you want to be using the third and fourth ability all in one is corruption blast and corruption shot these abilities are amazing for dealing with multiple targets all at once and being able to actually soften targets that you're not actually actively attacking uh, as of right there. It doesn't cause them to become aggressive and it will often uh, lower their hit point pool as you're kind of going through the motions of taking out multiple different other opponents that are actually aggressive towards you. How does this work? Well, essentially when you use the ability, it will blast the target um, with a kind of 
a bleed whilst also having the ability to then spread to nearby targets and this damage of the actual initial target hit will be 33 to 100% of the ability damage and it will tick five times decreasing over time so the first hit that you hit them with on the target that you're attacking will have the highest amount of damage and then every subsequent hit will then decrease the damage at which you're dealing and as it spreads out and out and out it will basically deal less damage as you go round over the six second period at which this is available to use it has a 15 second cooldown and i cannot stress this enough how good that this is if you do want to actually purchase this you will actually need to pay for the mascab ability codex which can be purchased off of the grand exchange and this is probably one of the best and most worthwhile investments especially if you're doing activities where you want to become afk because this basically increases the amount of damage and if you combine it with soul split you can actually heal yourself really really nicely and if you then just pop soul split on for that brief period of time the six seconds at which this is active you can gather so many more hit points during that period then switch back to what other uh, protection prayer or whatever you're using is an alternative so definitely an ability that you want to be purchasing both for magic and range unfortunately no melee equivalent on this the next abilities to actually have a look at similar to the previous are sunshine and death swiftness both for magic and range and death swiftness and sunshine act in a kind of way in which it creates this area of effect that if you stand on it, you can increase the damage of the damage that you're dealing to your opponent by 50%. In addition to this, if the target is actually standing in your sunshine or your death swiftness, it will deal 10 to 20% of the ability damage to the target every 1.8 second. It has a 30 second duration, and so you'll be able to really take advantage of this when you've got a lot of your extra uh, combos to actually come up. So you want to activate it, get up your adrenaline as much as possible, and then you'll be able to burst out a lot of damage over time because in, in essence, all of your abilities will be dealing 50% more during that 30 second period. And so it greatly increases your DPS and can be used in addition with a lot of the other abilities and that we've talked about to basically increase the amount of damage in a short period of time and so it's really really useful for almost all high level bossing activities that you can be doing just simply when you need to dps that boss down as quickly as possible the next set of abilities is the mobility abilities and that is bladed dive this allows you to increase your movement speed around the map because essentially what it means is that you can leap towards your specified location spinning your blades around you as you land and when you basically come any adjacent to anyone you'll deal 125 percent weapon damage uh, and if any enemies die within six seconds of you hitting them you can use bladed dive again bladed dive is therefore really good for getting yourself around the map it doesn't share a cooldown with surge and so you will be able to surge double surge and then use bladed dive as well in addition so essentially you get like three uh, three movement abilities within a short period of time and it is really really good for if you're doing anything like clue hunting or if you are just trying to maximize your efficiency when trying to get to a certain location and so I cannot recommend this as much and get it as soon as possible. The only problem with this is that it does cost 63 million shattered anima which you have to play the shattered worlds kind of mini game reward uh, type area and so yeah you'll be able to get it from there. It probably takes in the region of about six hours something like that i believe from memory you have to check that out but yeah definitely something i would invest my time into so that it saves me lots of time in the future and the earlier you get it the better the next ability is something that we mentioned in the previous one double surge and this is essentially in layman's terms surge but you can use it twice and this is unlocked from basically completing the Anachronia Agility course or alternatively just purchasing the Double Surge Codex that you can get from the G uh, GE and this will cost you about 41 million GP at the time of this recording and is really, really worth it. It is essentially one of the best mobility uh, abilities and having not used Double Surge for a long, long period of time, once I did actually get it, it sped up pretty much everything that I was doing on RuneScape by an inordinate amount and so I can only really recommend this 
even more. And I really do think it's something you should invest your time into or alternatively your GP, which is probably the easier option of the two. The final ability in this list is quite possibly the king of abilities right now on RuneScape 3, and that is Limitless. And this allows you to use threshold abilities under 50% adrenaline. Now, in order to actually do this, it will be very, very expensive, costing you approximately 500 to 600 million, depending on the, on the point at which you're watching this, and it could even rise even further. It has a six second lens, and you'll be able to use it basically to smash out a load of DPS over that period of time at which you're using Limitless. It doesn't cost any adrenaline, and so you can use it at 0%, and it will last six seconds. Limitless can only be used when below 60% adrenaline, and it cannot be triggered by revolution. However, with Limitless, you have the ability to smash out lots of DPS really, really quickly. If you do want to actually get your hands on this, right now you can purchase it in the GE for 608 million GP. Or alternatively, if you are an Iron Man, you have to gather 2,000 vital sparks and combining them to be able to create the Limitless Ability Codex, of which you can read and then you get the ability to use this ability. Other than that, that is all of the abilities that I think are useful kind of initially. We obviously will be looking at some of the buyable, upgradable stuff that you can have within the game. And of course, there's plenty of those with greater ricochet, greater barge, etc. But we'll look at those in a different video coming up soon. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And of course, check out some of the other content on the channel. And I hope to see you there. Goodbye.